If you want, in fact, if you want to introduce yourself. Then. Yeah, my name is Tom O'Connor, and I'm senior producer on Little Big Planet. <coughs> So it's going to be like a new DLC pack, it's a space themed mini adventure which contains um, six new levels including the boss and the whole game can be played in single player or in multiplayer using one PlayStation Vita up to three DualShocks per game. So <clears throat> the first thing you'll notice is that I am controlling Sackboy using the PlayStation Vita as the main controller so I can move them left and right, I can jump. I can animate his face, I can even move his arms around using dual analog sticks. But it gets really interesting when you realise that you've got this extra screen which you can now get extra information that you couldn't get before. So in this level, this example level, this little guy is going to give me information on how to progress through the rest of the level. So if I ignore the little guy, I'll do things like that and just get destroyed. But you can see on the Vita screen, I've got a different perspective on the world. And this is a lot of fun in multiplayer because in multiplayer, I'd be the only player with this information. So I'd need to either share that information or if one would be a bit kind of vicious, not share that information and grief my friends, which is a lot of fun. So let's collect these bubbles. Avoid the deadly areas. Cool. So as well as the extra screen, I can now interact with that screen as well. So there's a block on the PS3 that I need to somehow get on that switch over there, but I can't reach it. So I'm going to reach into the screen and just pick up the block and move it directly with touch on the PlayStation 3 screen. And run across. And let me start to introduce kind of like other simple interactions. We like to keep all the interactions nice and clear so it's intuitive for the user to navigate through the world. Here you can see how you can be even more precise because this one needs a bit of careful manoeuvre because it's electrified. Oh, let's get that through there. <clears throat> you can have a lot of fun with this because as the Vita player you've got different controls to the um, PlayStation DualShock player so you know, you're having to work collaboratively in different ways. As well as the front touch, we can use the rear panel. So if I just put my finger on the back panel, I can push out these blocks directly with touch on the PlayStation 3 screen. Some nice little springs just to fire sack where you collect some bubbles. So this, in this level we made, this princess needs rescuing and to do that I need to somehow find some kind of secret code to unlock this door. So using the Vita screen I can do like an x-ray of the area and try and find a code. There we can see Sackboy's skeleton there. And then I can find the code here hidden behind this block and it's telling me blue, purple, green. So I'll just input blue, purple, green on here on the touchpad. Come on, princess. I need to escape now. <clears throat> this is our escape pod, but it seems to be a problem. It seems to be a bit stuck. So I'm going to now jump from the PS3 screen and try and go underneath and see what's going on. So I jump down. I've now appeared on the Vita screen. So as well as having really simple, intuitive interfaces, you can also have full control of Sackboy on the PlayStation Vita screen. And this is cool because in multiplayer, your friends could be on the PS3 screen having different objectives to what you're doing, such as pulling switches to unlock prizes, or just kind of like working collaboratively to get to the end of the level. So we freed the door, the princess has jumped in, she's now safe, I'll get inside as well. <clears throat> I now need to fire the rocket into space, I'm going to pull it down on the Vita screen and fire it up through the Vita and through to the PS3. So that's just like a, sh a short glimpse of what you can expect in the pack release this year. And when will the pack be available? We haven't given an exact date, but it will be um, before, or hopefully before the end of the year, like around Christmas time. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.